Good morning, Year 3. So you made such an amazing job of your handwriting yesterday. I'd like you to put the short date and we're going to do a bit more handwriting. Now, I've started off with some M's. Let me show you how to make those M's. As you can see, I've already chosen my favourite. Start halfway up the line, straight down, up and over, up and over, and a small um, loop coming out because that will help you when you come to your joining. So if you could do a line of M's on their own. Okay, next step is to join three M's together. So I'll show you how I do that. So from the bottom of the M, straight up, straight down, up and over, up and over, out, straight up, straight down, up and over, up and over and out, okay? It's tricky joining these together. What you don't want is to end up with lots and lots of bumps. You clearly need to see where the stalk of the M rises just above the rest. And as always, if I get my ruler out and put it on, I should be able to make a nice straight line all the way across the tops. Okay, and then the word we're going to do today is mum. So, ma, ah. Mm. Lovely. Okay, now, today we're going to be carrying on our work about Jim and the Beanstalk. And our TLP is Can I Innovate a Story? So what that means is we're not starting a story totally from scratch with no ideas at all. We're going to use Jim and the Beanstalk to give us a structure for a story, but we're going to put in our own ideas. So let's have a little look at the giant and Jim. Here they are. Okay, so this is the point in the story where the giant has got his glasses, his false teeth, but now he decides that actually what he'd like to make him look even more handsome is his red curly hair. So this is where Jim suggests that he wears a wig. Now to innovate the story, instead of using glasses, teeth and a wig as our ideas, we can to think what else might the giant want? And looking at what he's got, his slippers here in this picture look very threadbare. Look, his toes are poking through. If he goes stomping around in the garden outside his castle, his feet are going to get wet. So if I were him, I would want some nice shiny boots. Okay. So move that there for the moment. So what I've done is I've created a little mind map of my ideas about the new boots. So he's got his new boots. The reason he wanted them was because at the minute he's got threadbare slippers. Threadbare just basically means really broken so that you can see your, see your toes or whatever coming through the end of it. You could also have broken slippers. You could say, um, you know, to po ooh, toes poking through slippers. That's hard to say. So what did he have to measure? Let's have a look here. So if we take the boots as an idea, he could say, ah, oh, I used to love running around outside the castle, splashing in the puddles, but now I can't. My feet get wet. Why don't you have some boots? Asked Jim. Some boots, roared the giant. Never heard of boots. So Jim explained about boots while the giant listened carefully. Get some, said the giant when Jim had finished. Get some that are black and shiny and waterproof. I'll pay good gold. So Jim measured the rest, so Jim measured the giant's feet. So can you see? I'm using the structure of the story, but I'm changing some of the words to match with my idea about boots. So today, you're not going to be writing the whole innovative story. You're just going to be planning some ideas. So I'm thinking with the new boots. So he wants them instead of threadbare slippers. He wants them to be shiny, black and waterproof. So Jim needs to measure his feet. He'll have to go to the shoemaker to make the huge boots. And then how will he feel at the end? I think the giant will feel happy and excited and now he'll be able to splash in puddles. Okay, so you can use that as an idea or you can think of some of your own. What do you think the giant would like? Maybe a new hearing aid. 
so he can hear more clearly. Maybe new walking stick so he can go walking around those gardens. Have a little think and see what you come up with. So here's a couple more ideas from me. I thought maybe he might want a hearing aid because he can't hear children sneaking into his castle anymore. So Jim would have to measure his ear. He would like the hearing aid to be loud and clear. Jim would have to go to the audiologist for a giant hearing aid. And at the end, he would be happy because he can hear the birds in the trees. And all these ideas I just made up from what I might know about the, about the giant or what I might guess. Now, maybe sitting all alone in his castle, he's bored. So I thought maybe a jigsaw might be quite nice. Maybe Jack, um, Jim, rather, could suggest a jigsaw. So I thought about what could he measure for that? He could measure his table to see how big the jigsaw could be. So I said the giant would want a jigsaw of golden treasure because that's what he really likes. Um, and he would have to go to the toy maker for a giant jigsaw and the giant would love it and he would start making it straight away. So some of the other ideas you could think of your own ideas for. A waterproof coat to go walking around the gardens. A pair of binoculars to see what was going on down in the world below. And again, a walking stick to help him walk. Now, I don't expect you to do all of these. That would be too much. Maybe if you choose two or three, just two or three, that you think you'd like to write about, Gather your ideas together and then tomorrow we will start writing the story based on your ideas. I look forward to seeing them later on.